Hi, this is Zach May with the U.S. Chart Breakers here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Monday, the 24th of July. Starting off, as usual, with the S&P, which gapped up uh, just a couple of weeks ago through the 4460 zone. That's the lowest we're expecting at the moment, ahead of a potential move up to as high as 4730 at that uh, old uh, August 2022 resistance line projection. Uh, we have uh, the only negative at the moment, apart from obviously the, just coming off the highs of uh, late, is the way that uh, we've had the higher high for uh, late July, but uh, the RSI shows a bit of uh, bearish divergence, so the RSI not quite as high as it was when we peaked in the middle of June, so that might be the first warning that we do need to test the 4460 area. At the moment, the lowest we're probably expecting around 4400, which was uh, the old resistance line projection target about a month ago. Moving on to the stocks and uh, an interesting bunch today in terms of the spread of uh, chart types, etc. Uh, first, we're starting off with Altasource, where you can see that uh, we've had a trend line break there from last month. That was versus around the $5.50 level. Above that, we're looking for the top of that rising trend channel from back in February to hit as high as $9 as soon as the end of next month. And uh, also, I suppose we've got uh, uh, an uptrend line in the RSI window from uh, back in uh, June. So it's a big bullish divergence situation showing that uh, the shares are uh, tur turning higher in quite an aggressive way. Next up is a uh, stock which is new to us, uh, Bitcoin Depot. And uh, uh, obviously, given the uh, name of the subject uh, the, of the stock, uh, it's interesting to see that it's uh, trying to turn around. It looks like a broadening triangle base. Uh, the floor of the triangle, sorry, broadening uh, price channel base. And uh, for the price channel there around three dollars ten above that we're looking for five dollars as soon as the end of next month even if the shares then fall away again after that got a bullish divergence line there in the rsi window so that does suggest that there is a bit of momentum here at least for the near term moving along to uh, a stock which is another new name for us uh, quite a few today bluebird bio and uh, here we've got a rising trend channel base we uh, gapped, well, we fell below the floor, but then gapped higher. So that underlines the fact that there is, or the, the uh, assumption that there is a rising trend channel base since uh, April, since March rather. And uh, above the 50-day line, $3.60, looking for as high as $5.90 by the end of next month. If you're cautious, you maybe want to see an end, another end of day close through $4, which was the old June support area, resistance area, in fact. Moving on to a stock which we haven't covered for quite a while, but it's uh, back again uh, after a, uh, quite a quite a large absence. You can see why there has been a large absence given the way that um, the shares gapped down rather horribly back in June. Uh, but we're back above the 50-day uh, moving average on a weekly close basis. That's around $2.25. Uh, and uh, looking for at least that resistance line there, the top of that falling wedge from March up to $3.10, even if the shares fall back again after that. Basically, it's a gap close buy signal. Obviously, the close uh, the gap down there was quite vicious from around two dollars sixty down to uh, one dollars one dollar fifty. We break through the uh, three dollar area, then it could be up to five dollars on a one to two month time frame. But a little bit early to get too excited at just this stage. Moving on to uh, a situation which is. Uh, uh, new to us, and uh, here we've got uh, Digital World Acquisition, and here we've gapped through the 200-day uh, line around $15.60. That's the second gap higher in the recent past. It shows that the shares are, uh, they do mean business. In fact, uh, hits a line there of resistance from December, and that remains the target while we're above uh, the old uh, January resistance around $18.70, above $18.70, looking for a retest of $23 plus on Digital World over the next week or two. Moving on to a stock which I covered quite recently and uh, seems to be doing rather well. Uh, we've got uh, Evolo Biosciences. Uh, broke that uh, neckline resistance there around $6.50. We were looking for a rather ambitious uh, $23 target at the top of the broadening triangle from February and uh, still looking for that while we hold above resistance on the way down around the $9.60 level. Big bullish divergence line there, so lower lows but higher price uh, to back the idea of a substantial move. Moving on to uh, the next situation, which is uh, Guard Force AI. Uh, here you can see that we've had um, 
the shares touching the 200-day line around eight dollars fifty, above the uh, resistance and the floor of that uh, flag, the floor, floor of that gap rather from back in May at nine dollars thirty, looking for as high as twelve dollars by the end of next month. Moving on to another new name and. Uh, here you can see that uh, Life MD is uh, on the front foot at the moment, rising trend channel there from February, and above uh, the floor of the channel there around three dollars forty, uh, we're looking for the shares to hit as high as six dollars by the end of next month. Obviously uh, pushing through after the uh, golden cross that we had there at the end of June. Now one of the favourites of the day, probably given the uh, configuration of the chart, is Sigmatron, and here you can see. The shares uh, pushing through the uh, massive unfilled gap to the upside that we had, uh, had, had at the end of last week. Uh, resistance previously, neckline resistance around $4.50. Above that from May, looking at as high as $6.20 over the next two to three weeks. On to the uh, last three. First one is um, another new name. Uh, service first bank shares and here a wonderful chart here with a massive unfilled gap to the upside uh, closed or well, opened at the low and closed at the high on Friday so that does suggest a lot, lot of strength there and above the uh, floor of Friday at $53 we're looking for $68 as soon as the end of next month stock which I covered last week which has decided to um, keep on going is 20, 20th, uh, 22nd century group we managed to hit the uh, first target there around five dollars thirty, filling that uh, gap. Uh, second target there at seven dollars twenty-five, which we're hoping for by the end of next month, if we can remain above that uh, five dollar thirty area at the moment. It looks as though, uh, well, if we can get above that five dollar area at the moment, it looks as though we're going to be a bit shy of that uh, over the course of Monday. Finishing off with uh, Vinco Ventures, and uh, here. Very strong looking configuration, breaking the 50 day line, then finding support above it. Above $2.50, which is recent support, looking for $8 as soon as the end of next month. Probably the uh, speed of the recovery will quicken as the uh, 50 day line starts to rise. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.